What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about AMC, give you some sort of you know positive thinking of AMC, also give you as much as I can when it comes to the stock price, what's actually happening, all types of things like that. Hopefully um, you get some value out of this video, but obviously this stock, most of the stocks that we're talking about here, AMC, GME, Rocket, all of the ones that are heavily manipulated, um, they're not predictable, right? You know, it's manipulated uh, to kingdom come. And uh, what's crazy is that we're seeing um, all of this movement over a number of a number of days, number of weeks, but then we see it completely collapse with a form of manipulation. So before we get started in this, make sure to hit that like button, also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one, and make sure that you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out my YouTube Shorts channel if you want to see AMC and what I talk about in a very short form uh, video. So AMC. What's going on with AMC? First, let's look at exactly what we've seen today. The volume today was pretty low. It was at 76 million compared to the average of 168 million. It wasn't really that high. Um, what I do like to point out is today, we actually seen it cross the 200 um, EMA for the first time since back in February. February 23rd, we've seen that cross the 200 EMA, um, the price cross the 200 EMA, not the 15 moving average. 15 moving average still hasn't passed the 200 EMA if we're looking at two hour candlesticks. Um, but you can see that we did have all of this growth here and it looked pretty normal. And uh, right now, as we're, we're looking at this, we could see that we had all this growth up to $14.87 where we did have a drop, but now we're seeing this constant drop because the overall market's down. You know, we're also seeing manipulation, we're seeing shorting, we're seeing a lot of different things that is just not good. Um, for the overall situation, to tell you the truth. But um, right now, sitting at $10.68, people are concerned. They're basically saying, I'm going to get out. I just want to uh, capture my profits and leave. Um, but it's not all about that. I mean, this is what they want. Um, they're going to continue to manipulate this as time goes on because we're still holding. A bunch of people are still holding, but they're going to continue to try and manipulate it just to be able to bring that stock price down and be able to cover some of their shorts. Um, and then also with any of the new shorts that they had in there, they can continue to bring the price down as long as people are continuing to panic. So we don't want you to panic. We want you to look at it as a positive situation. This is why I always think of it as a time to buy. You know, if you got in at $11 and it's down to $60, uh, $10.60 and you have a little bit extra money, it's time to actually average down. If you can find a way to average down without actually spending the money, which I have a video on that, then go ahead and do that. Um, in my case, if it goes below $10, if it goes to like 10, I was at $9 and 46 cents. And for here it's $9 and 45 cents. I definitely will average down as much as I possibly can, um, in order to bring that cost average down. That's just how that goes. Um, but if I look at it at a closer level, let's look at exactly what happened today before we, uh, jump to conclusions, even though the conclu we understand exactly where the conclusions are. It did have a massive increase, um, right from the start. We did see it run up to, you know, close to that $12 mark and it ended up just collapsing, ended up just, you know, tanking. Uh, I understand the market was tanking. I understand exactly where it's coming from, but it did tank quite a bit down to $11, even kept tanking a little bit more, continued on the way down. You did see it flatten out. It was fighting back and forth. And then you've seen it tank um, somewhere towards the end of the day to where you do see a little bit of a recovery right now, but still or we're basically going to finish at that $10.60 or $10.70 mark. We have one minute until the market closes here. So we're going to finish 14% down, which is huge. And we might see a recovery in the after hours market. So who really knows? Because it's not 100% predictable. Now, what I can say um, about AMC is that there are these main factors of manipulation, main factors of shorting it to kingdom come, um, you know, and main factors of people that are panic selling. Um, and also you have the factor of the fact that it is a down market. A down market will kind of take people away from um, uh, from buying. So people will not want to buy into this market if they know it is a down market. And I've seen that time and time again to where you see a lack of buying. And this is why you see a lack of volume because people are not interested in buying anything while it's all the way down or while it's going down. They want to buy it um, while it's you know on the way up a little bit just to see that bounce back. That's when they're looking to buy. So a lot of people are maybe looking to buy towards the end of the day just to say, okay, it was at 1037. That's the lowest it's going to get. I'm going to buy at this point. And you start driving the price up. And that's 
what they continue to do. So with Rocket, it was obviously a different story, but with AMC, um, you could see that uh, as it started to go down and it got towards the end of the day, people were like, all right, this is the time to buy 1037, it's gonna go up. Um, and you know they ended up pushing that up to $10.66 um, and continuing to push up in the after hours market. So it's definitely tricky to, to look at this overall situation and say, where is it going to go? Where are we going to see it? Are we gonna see it at $20, $30, $40? Where is it gonna go? It's very difficult to say where it will be, but I do like to be positive and understand that it can get easily to 15 to $20 to $25. But the fact that hedge funds are manipulating this as much as they could possibly manipulate it, it's not working out for us. And they can continue to do this because they don't have the interest to um, kind of squeeze them out of those positions. So people are asking me, hey, is there going to be a squeeze? I can't say that there is going to be a squeeze if they can't be squoze out of those positions. <laughs> if they can't be squeezed out of those positions, then um, it, it's not going to be good um, for us, right? they're gonna be able to continue to manipulate, continue to short, um, no matter if the SSR is in place or not, um, they're gonna to continue to short. And it sucks to see that, but just know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and we just have to find where that light actually is. If we have a profit target of you know, $20 or a profit target of $25 or a profit target of $50, that light is somewhere. And um, you know, I think we'll get to a point to where the bubble actually pops and it does increase a dramatic amount. It's not gonna be something where I believe it's gonna be a thousand or $2,000, but it could possibly be 50 or a hundred dollars easily. Um, the fact that we have not seen AMC at a 100% at a day or a 50% day, or even a 30% day is crazy compared to you know um, Rocket, compared to GME, compared to Cost. All of them have had their 50% days, but AMC has not. Why? Mainly because it's being manipulated as much as they can possibly do it. So that's what I have for you guys. Let me know what you think about AMC. Do you believe that we're gonna see some positive movement? I'll make sure to put out a poll to see where you think AMC is gonna be um, uh, tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I get this out early um, tonight, I don't know. But it shouldn't be anything that I, I have a, a ton of work for, but uh, we'll see how this all plays out. But that's my video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate anybody that views my channel. Um, uh, but. Make sure that you take some time to subscribe to my YouTube Shorts channel. It doesn't hurt, you just hit that subscribe button. If you're subscribed to this one, subscribe to that one um, because you are gonna get shorter form videos. And if you wanna join the Discord group, make sure that you click that link and join the Discord group. But I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh.